winter came and left. Uh, we transitioned from skiing in the mountains and now we're running and biking in the mountains. Uh, we're actually up here in Idaho to do a gravel bike packing loop. Gravel biking has been a real passion of mine uh, for the last year since I've gotten into it and this will be kind of the first time that I get to showcase it on camera so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, I just picked up the Canyon Grizzle uh, in the last month. I'm really excited. We drove up here from Salt Lake uh, last night. Um, stayed at a hotel just down the road and um, we're here in Paradise, Idaho. Uh, we're gonna do a hundred mile uh, loop through the Sawtooths. Um, we brought some bags on our bike. We're gonna stay at a few campgrounds and should be really beautiful, scenic, and I think the bike route should be uh, pretty challenging and hard. So uh, it's gonna be a great weekend. Most of the loop is on gravel, but I guess the first 10 miles or so are on road, which is good because our bikes are pretty heavy and we gotta get a little acclimated, get our heart rate up first. Been a, been a couple miles, pretty busy. You start on this road here and there's like people flying by you all the time. So glad to get off the uh, busy street and onto the gravel. here in the shade because we started midday and uh, I don't know it's like July 2nd or something but it's pretty hot as you can imagine it's probably in the 90s and I got this flannel on to protect me from the Sun so like it's pretty hot last year uh, we were gonna do this loop around uh, Labor Day um, had the bags had the bikes um, and we got smoked out there was so much uh, forest fire smoke so we ended up not doing it um, ever since then. It's kind of been on my list, uh, been kind of a, a dream to do it. Um, I've never actually been to Idaho before, so this is a new state for me, but um, yeah, just, I mean, honestly, from some of the pictures, it just looks so pretty and I'm, I'm so stoked to be up here. bikeable so that's reassuring I need to turn the elevation stat off my watch though because looking at that creep up and knowing what we need to hit is not reassuring <laughs> if we did this again maybe starting in the morning or in the evening would be better than like 2 p.m. hottest part of the day but in our defense it's not our fault it's what it said to do on the website so We've been uh, taking a break, almost like what feels like every shady patch, like right here underneath this tree. It's just like so hot. Uh, my t-shirt, my chamois, my flannel, everything's soaked through. It's like just brutal. And we're in this kind of like valley-ish thing and there's no breeze. Uh, if you do the sloop, don't start midday. Definitely start in the morning or start in the evening. It's it is super hot out here. I think we have about a thousand feet until we get to the first pass and then we're going downhill uh, into the little town of Atlanta. Last like 10 miles or so have been 
pretty steep and uh, haven't filmed as much as I filmed at the beginning. I would say. Maybe not as many nice things to say. Yeah, maybe not as many nice things to say. <laughs> <laughs> I would say my stoke is low. Um, I think we just did most of the climbing for the first day. Now we're gonna descend uh, off the back into Atlanta. But hopefully some things improve. We uh, eat some food and drop some weight on our bikes, but we'll see. Well, we just set up camp, got here to Atlanta, maybe like 20, 30 minutes ago, and we're going to the restaurant here for some food. Absolutely just brutal first day. Like, and it's hard to truly explain how brutal that was. Like, I don't have the vocabulary. We're all just, gassed like completely gassed the climb was like 4200 feet sandy just like 10 11 12 percent like just unbelievable and the entire downhill was like a mountain bike course where you'd want like front and rear suspension The morning of day two, we're packing up camp. Gonna hit the road. Uh, strangely, spirits are high. I think we all got decent nice sleep, night sleep last night. Made some instant coffee this morning and we're gonna hit the road. ride about 15 miles from Atlanta to where we currently are right now we're going up a huge climb biggest climb of the whole trip I think we have 16 sorry 6,000 vertical feet to do today we're all a little apprehensive but spirits are high it's cooler than yesterday we're hydrating, and we started early, so we have all day. Views should be good, and we're biking right next to a stream, so we should be able to get water if we need it, and so far, so good.
was hoping I wouldn't have to record something like this. But uh, after much deliberation, we're going to bail off the route. Um, I don't think everyone, including myself, had, like, honestly the best time on this route. Um, I think it's kind of a live and learn uh, experience. Um, just having 20 extra pounds on the bike is not uh, super fun when you're doing, like, 10% steep gravel climbs. But that's actually not the reason we're bailing. There's... A lot of clouds in the area, it's getting kind of windy, temperature dropped a bit. Um, on the inReach, it looks like the chance of rain is about 50% until next morning. So we're gonna drop down back to where we started and find a place to stay tonight. I think we all agree that this downhill really made up for the fact that we bailed off the route. This is like some of the most fun gravel descent I've ever been on and it's so beautiful. <laughs> so we're all feeling a, little, a lot better about things. Finishing up now and we talked to uh, some people who said the descent on the other side was terrible so I think we made the right decision there's a lot of dark clouds around uh, this way and uh, yeah overall fun weekend that descent was great um, if you've made it this far in the video or if you've done this route leave a comment on how it went for you or uh, if you're looking forward to doing some bike packing and uh, leave a like as well that really helps me out Thanks for watching.